So the last time you were here, <clears throat> you were getting ready to take a trip to Paris mm. with your daughters. Did you wind up taking the trip? Yeah, I try to take them somewhere every year that yeah. they haven't been. So we decided on Paris. And oh. Nice choice. Yeah, love Paris yeah, so much. Yeah. But I hadn't had a croissant, a chocolate croissant in 30 years. What? what? You don't get this body from indulging in chocolate croissant. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we decided to have a chocolate croissant and... Well, they're it, everywhere there. Yeah, but this was extra special because it's been 30 years. Right, you wanted to <laughs> so savor it. So I've been thinking about you this lick, moment. You lick the plate. <laughs> for 30 years. Because how many croissants have you seen that you've passed up over the... Oh yeah, there was one actually. I, I cased a place in, um, <laughs> in Los Angeles. And I was like, okay, I'm finally gonna do it. Of course. Yeah. So I walk in, and a woman's behind the counter, and I notice she has just a, a little bit of a hair growing out of her chin. And then as I'm getting the croissant, I see that it dislodges from her chin, and I watch it spin. Nope. No, no. Yeah. Onto my croissant. No. And I immediately walked out. That wouldn't have stopped me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like waiting for the problem to happen. I was like, and then what happened? So, but you got a you got a Parisian pan oh chocolate. It was Mark. It was it was fresh out of the oven. Oh. It was melted chocolate. It was yeah. flaky. We had coffee on the sidewalk. I was in heaven.